Hi guys, this is the American Developer here. I want to talk about MySQL joins because I've been through about two or three interviews now where they have asked me about joins and I would forget the one they happen to ask me about. So I really want to do a review on this so I can remember and maybe for those of you out there who are wanting to refresh their memory or learn how MySQL joins work then this will benefit all of those parties alright so I'm going to list out the different joins and I may add in a Venn diagram on the video just to give a pretty picture of it but for now the different types of joins we have are outer, inner, left, and right. I know there's full joins and all of that but I'm focusing mainly on MySQL joins right now. So I'm going to use my fun database because it's fun and what I need to do is actually get my stuff set up so I'm going to create a table Create, actually, I'm going to create two tables so we can make more sense of it. Uh, let's do table one. I'm going to use the original engine of it because we don't have to change the engine for the table to really make a difference on it. So, ID. primary key auto increment I make it this wrong most likely I really don't memorize this as much or char 100 let's see if that creates it So it looks like that actually created it. Nice. So I haven't forgotten everything yet. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same. Alright. So I have both tables appearing now. And I just need to insert data into tables. So insert into table one ID name values and you can just do ID but since it's auto incrementing you don't have to set a specific value. One I'm gonna do this. And three Let's do all of this right here, but let's do table two. I'm just checking to make sure that the data is there. Yeah, that's all in there. Great. <clears throat> what I'm going to do next is insert some data that's not, that's unique for each table. So we can get a better visual of what's going on when we do a, a join. So we got our unique value there. Well, it's not unique necessarily, it's more just something to test with. Alright, so what we're going to do is we are going to test out an outer join. And what an outer join does for MySQL is that when you have two tables, it actually retrieves pretty much all the information 
whether the IEDs match up or not. It doesn't care, it retrieves all of the information. And to make this even better, we can pass in like a unique ID just to make sure that we do see that. So for table one, we'll do 1500 for the ID. Because those values should be unique. All right. So I'm going to do select a so a dot star b dot star from table one a outer join table two b on this is the IDs that we want the columns that we want to match up the values from if it equals to these two then show it up. And I got it wrong because I'm also like that. How to join table B. From table one A, outer join. How about we just do join, see what happens. Yeah, I think in join is out automatically doing inner join, which looks for the matching IDs. So let's see if that confirms it. Okay. I don't think you even need to specify. It just. No. Oh, it doesn't recognize outer join. Is it full join here? Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Well, that teaches me something new here. That should have been just an outer join. Let's see. My SQL outer join. Maybe the syntax has changed, or maybe I'm just completely wrong. You know, many of you might have fallen for this one as well. Huh. Doesn't seem there is an actual outer join. Maybe that is in a MySQL thing, huh? For what I'm seeing, this is the closest to actually doing a full out join. Okay. Yeah, this is what I read. This is what you do to simulate a full join on MySQL. That's odd, but okay. Just do a union all statement. So, all okay, right, I learned something. Maybe I was thinking in Oracle then for the full joins or using T-SQL, which is what SQL Server uses. Okay, all right, fine. That's how it works. So the idea is an outer join brings in all the values from both tables. Now this one for an inner join Let's go ahead and get that going. Is a join in MySQL where you take the values of what you're trying to match to see if there's any values that matches up in both tables. And that's the only values that outputs when it comes to the result. Let's go ahead and do that on a.id equals b.id. 
Let's do inner join just to specify. Here's our inner join example, and you can see that it's the IDs that it's looking for. For name, it could give us different values, so I'm actually interested in seeing that. Yep, that confirms it. So, inner joins take matching values from both tables. Anything that does not match up it from either table, it's not going to show up in the query. All right, so let's do a, a left join. And what a left join is, it is going to show all the values from the left-hand table, but it will not return any non-matching values from the right table, which in this case would be table two. So left join. Let's go ahead and do ID. Actually, let's do name again. So then, huh, it shows up the value, but it turns out to be null for some reason. That's odd. Well, for a solution for this, you can, if you're do, using like PHP or something, you can actually um, check to see if it's null and you can exclude those values. I mean, that would be a quick hack. Now for a right join, it is the opposite of a left join where it's the only the matching values only the matching values will show up but anything that's non-matching on the left table will not return on the query so you can see they're opposites so for a review now that I understand that a full join does it seem to exist on MySQL? For outer full joins, you just do a union all statement to grab all those values, but I wouldn't recommend that because most of the time you're looking for matching data anyways. The inner joins will be your best bet for real scenarios, real, uh, real world scenarios, that is. And then there's left join, it's a all the matching values from both tables on certain columns but if there's anything that does not match on the right table it will not show up but all the values on the left table will show up and for a right join all the values from the right table will return and also the matching values which is name column in this case from the left hand table but if there's nothing matching, if there's anything not matching values for the left table, it will not return any values. Hopefully that makes sense to you. If you have any questions, just leave me a comment, like my videos, please subscribe. I like making this content. It's actually helped me to get through a couple of interviews because of basic knowledge and basic review so I definitely recommend going through these videos because it may help you in the long run as well uh, to move up in your software development careers. Thank you very much. Hope you have a great day. Goodbye.